How do you do? So today I'm going to show you how to diagnose if your Cadillac converter is plugged. So right now I'm going to put my foot on the gas pedal all the way to the floor and this is what happens. It should be going up a lot more but I'm going up three grand so I'm suspecting the Cadillac converter is plugged. So I'm going to show you what you need to do to figure out if that's the problem or not. So this is what you're going to need. You're going to need um, this to plug in where your O2 sensor was. So after you pull it out with your O2 socket and that's the part number there. And then you're going to need a vacuum gauge to stick on your thing. So we're going to tell how much vacuum you got. So now you want to locate your O2 sensor above your catalytic converter, which is that one right there. And then we're going to take it out and put our stuff in. And we're going to look for some vacuum. So I misspoke earlier. It's not vacuum. It's pressure. And that's what you're looking for. And you shouldn't have any pressure at all when you do this. So just let me start the vehicle. Should just be flowing through there pretty good, and then we're gonna go ahead and rev it up a little bit. You got two pounds of pressure, so that means your catalytic converter is partially plugged. So that's what's causing you to have no performance. So this problem is you couldn't get up and go. You can't drive anywhere really. You get over 30 miles an hour, and it just lugs down. You just don't feel like you have any power at all, and that's usually caused by you know a restriction like this. So I cut our cat off. This is what it's supposed to look. That's the way it's supposed to look. And then, that's how it looks if it's melted together and it's all plugged up. Thank you for watching my video. Um, so I hope that this is helpful and it helps you be your own mechanic and get some problems fixed for you. Uh, the main thing that I didn't mention there is you want to make sure the engine's cold because working around exhaust you can get burnt. So just, if you're going to be working on it, just let it cool down for like two or three hours before you do anything. And uh, then you can go check it out. So. Uh, subscribers and stuff thanks for watching videos um it's just the reason why you gotta do it is because you guys i really appreciate it all your comments and all your likes and everything like that um thanks uh it's been really helpful um so if you like my video and uh you like what i'm doing for you helping you be your own mechanic just check out my playlist i got lots of information of how to so how to be your own mechanic so uh thanks for watching and as always just give me a like give me a subscribe and if if you want to figure it out, if there's anything that you want me to uh, go over, just let me know down here in the comments. Uh, if there's a video that you really want to see, just let me know in the comments, and then maybe I can make a video for you. So thanks.